This is Twit. So I've been promoting this. In fact, when I was in Estonia last year, I almost got one of these. I think this is such a brilliant idea. They call them their digital uh, identity cards, their e-cards. They have a chip on them. You have your public key on it. Um, so you can use it to verify your identity. I mean, it's a really powerful technology. Uh, and anybody in the world can get it, except <laughs> uh, I guess this is an Infineon chip because it turns out Infineon chips have a bug that allows an attacker, if he has your public key, which is the key you give out to everybody, to deduce your private key and from then after decrypt all the traffic to you on PGP and other key RSA keys on public key crypto. It basically breaks public key crypto. It's 2017. We just can't have nice things. Steve Gibson says, this is more serious. TPM modules in Windows machines, they have the Infineon chip. So they have the problem. Uh, this is fairly widespread. Uh, it's difficult to fix. Millions of keys are crippled. This this didn't get as much attention as Crack, and I'm kind oh. of surprised. Uh, maybe it didn't have as good a name. But, you know, we were worried that public key crypto would be broken by quantum computing. We didn't think it would... <laughs> be broken so soon. Broken by a bug. Yeah. It's a, in an RSA library uh, developed by Infineon 1.02.013. If you use, as I do, OpenGPG uh, to generate your keys and software, you're safe. If, however, you used a YubiKey, which can generate PGP keys, mm. uh, earlier uh, this year they fixed it, but any key, I think, before July of this year has that flaw, you're going to want to generate new keys. Um, it's uh, it's a pretty scary uh, thing, and it's hard to know how which what your keys are and so forth. So uh, there is a site you can go to um, to figure it out. But I just want to let you know we're talking about crack, but forget crack. We got Roca.